What is going on guys? Back here with a video. Um, this is gonna be a first of many videos. As you can see, it's pretty uh, chillaxed. It's, it's kind of non-scripted, um, unscripted. It's just candid. Um, and really just kind of for those that are following, what I wanna do with this channel is really just take it a lot of different places. Um, my dream since I was a kid was to inspire millions of kids across the world and millions of people and I want to be that voice, and and um, I want to I want to create videos that are going to help inspire you to to believe that you can do whatever you want in this world. If you want to be the next Michael Jordan, you can be it if you believe it. Um, if you want to be the next Bill Gates, you can believe you can do it if you believe it. Um, if you want to be Will Smith, right? You can do it. The Will Smith didn't just become Will Smith in the flick of a you know a, a flick of a you know wrist. A, a wrist or or your or your snap or. Um, Will Smith became Will Smith because he believed it, he dreamed it, he slept it, he ate it. You know, he ever since he was a kid, he dreamed of doing what he did. Right, Barack Obama. You know, like he he just didn't become president because God was like, oh, I want Barack Obama to become president. He became president because he believed it. It was his dream, and mm -hmm. he he chased it. Right. Um, my dream is to inspire millions, and that's why we're gonna do this video. I don't care that most YouTubers do scripted edited content. For me, the most important thing is being genuine to my audience, whether it's 10 people, which is what it is right now, <laughs> um, or it's a million people, which is hopefully in a couple of years, right? Um, so we're gonna talk, and the, the, the topic that I wanna talk about today, um, I think is, is really pertinent to my life right now, um, mm -hmm. is putting yourself in uncomfortable situations. Um, I'm moving to New York in two days, and I just want to talk about the importance of going outside your comfort zone. I agree. So what, what do you think of that? Like why, I mean, why is going out of your comfort zone so important? I think, okay, for me it boils down to two facts, right? Like there's a saying, like to have change you need a catalyst. That's very chemical, it's very raw, it's very in the earth of the moment. But it applies to life, right? Like you cannot... No growth has ever occurred from any person or individual staying stationary. Okay. You are too complacent. You are too, um, you know, you're too routine, too known. And, and then you get bored with life and you lose the zest. I think you want to grow. You want to make changes. Put yourself in uncomfortable positions yeah. because that is the only way that you will get to know yourself. And until Absolutely. you don't know yourself, you don't know what you want. Even at work, they say, okay, congratulations, two years, three years, four years. Well, I'm now at six years. And they're like, what do you want to do? Well, honestly, I don't know. But that's okay because I wish they would give us programs that would really let us rotate. Like, you know, yeah. like I really applaud the people who, you know, like I know this one girl, engineer. I was an engineer when I went to college. I really struggled through it. I made it. I have a good job now. So bless up. But she was like, <laughs> This isn't for me. We struggled through it. We like I can tell you the number of nights we cried, we passed the exams, and she was like, "You know what? This isn't me." So she quit and went back to school, and everyone said not to. And now she's a nurse. She's loving her life, and she's not an engineer, but you can do it. And the whole point of getting uncomfortable and putting yourself in these situations is to figure yourself out. And 100%. you will fail. I think that's the biggest thing is like yeah. figuring yourself out. Right. right? And I think you will fail, and it's okay cuz me, I have a fear of failure, but I learned that when you fail, you change. When exactly. you fail, like Einstein didn't yeah. go in thinking, I failed thousand million times. He went in I saying, give up, you know. he went in thinking, I found 10,000 ways to not make this work. Right. So that 10,001th time, this yeah. light bulb was going to work. And, and it goes it. back to that quote that life is not about how many times you fall. It's about how many times you pick yourself back up, right? Yeah. I think, you know, like I think that... Um, you have to put yourself in an uncomfortable situation to figure out more about yourself, right? Yeah. Like if I had everything in life so easy and it went the way that I had imagined, then I wouldn't be sitting here trying to make YouTube videos and chase yeah. my dream and work my butt off for it, right? Like I think that you you have to put yourself in an uncomfortable situation to not only know more about yourself, but to test life. So, you know, I think the uncomfortable situation for me is I'm 22. I just graduated college from UNC, go Tar Heels, national champions, 2017. <laughs> um, and I have lived near home my whole life. I've been at least 45, I would say under two hours away from home my entire life for 22 years. I am now going to move more than nine hours away from my parents by car and I'm very close with my parents. It's a very uncomfortable situation, not being so close to home, um, not being where I wanna be. You know, my dream is to work in the NBA. My dream um, also is to be a content creator. My dream is to inspire millions. 
And I don't think I'm gonna be able to necessarily do that with my job, but I'm excited for my job because it's gonna be an opportunity for me to grow as a person, to see what I like. Mm -hmm. um, I'm living in an apartment with random people. I haven't even met my roommates yet. I'm gonna meet my roommates when I move into my apartment. That's an uncomfortable situation. My mom is very scared by that idea, right? Like even last year, I interned for a company in Charlotte and I, putting myself in that uncomfortable situation allowed me to realize that I didn't want to be in the field that that company was working in. And that, right. you know, as much as I enjoyed my experience and I love the company, I think they're a phenomenal company, it wasn't for me and that's okay, right? And I think that all of you, no matter whether you're Casey Neistat or you're, <laughs> Fusi, you know, Yusef Arakat, or your Priyanka Bharatam, or here in Gualala, or you're just a viewer of this video, you are going to go through uncomfortable situations, but those uncomfortable situations are gonna be the moments that define your life, and they're gonna allow you to learn so much more about yourself and help you chase your dreams. Yeah, um, I agree. You know, and, and you know, I don't know if you, what, what are your thoughts on that? But No, I, I absolutely agree, and like when he goes back to saying, this isn't necessarily my dream job, but I'm really excited. It goes back to like, you can always find your dream in the littlest of places where you think your dreams didn't exist. Exactly. For example, like I always wanted to be a doctor and for whatever reason, possibly even failure of fear, fear of failure on my part, um, I d it didn't happen. But now I do as much as I can in terms of like, giving back in the medical area or, right. or in this, or possibly even looking into like a future of a, a medical degree combined with my business background. And that sure. goes back to him, right? Like he wants to go to an MBA, he wants to inspire. And that's why we're doing this. And that's why this is so raw, unedited. It's unedited, it's, on my it's couch. raw, because I want to be real right. with y'all. I don't care if I have, all, again, a million subscribers. I mean y'all, I have no makeup on, my right. hair looks like shit, or, but we're doing right? it. <laughs> or look at me, you know, I'm, I'm wearing a Marvel shirt that looks like I've been wearing it every single day, which I have. Um, that's kind you of You know, like it, it has to be, it has to be unscripted because I right. think that that's where the genuineness right. comes in. And so right? what I was saying is like... Like we just had yeah. a deep ass we conversation. Did. We did. Um, I didn't want to have that conversation on camera because I think it brings in a lot of our personal life. Right. Um, but we just spent the last hour talking about something about life and just kind of where we want to go and kind of the pressures of life and, um, you know... And, and I agree. And I will say like there's always a silver lining and I've been in these situations many times what he refers to where I just can't get out of that rut and it, 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 a lot of wrong has been done on to me and I'm not bitter but I'm very hurt and so sometimes that skews how I view the world but it's about finding that silver lining so when you put yourself in these uncomfortable situations again like for example I think when he goes back up like I think I don't I don't think I've ever told you but I think you're you're meant to go there so you can understand a new dynamic of life because Absolutely. North Carolina is very set in its, it's ways. Very, it's very comfortable Been living. Been living here for 10, 12 yeah, years. Yeah, it's so, like, again, like so routine, so lovable. It's, it feels it's so, like... People are so nice yeah. and everything is just, you do life the way you want to do we it. We can walk in down New the York, street and someone will give you sugar and they will call you sugar. In but New York, it don't work it like that. No It'll sense. be like, bitch, get out of my way. Right, exactly. And I feel like, like, for you to help as many people as you want to help, you have to understand the world, the way it functions. And Absolutely. the world is not Raleigh, North Carolina. The world Absolutely. is New York. The world is Africa, China. Absolutely. The world is not middle class, rich. It's everything. It's, every like it's a diversity, every so, background, every socioeconomic right. and so status. He's going from living in dorms and like having his own room. Residence to like, halls, as RJ likes to call it. but <laughs> Now he's just being technical. But he's going into sharing rooms with randos. And like that is great because you really get to know... You get to Mentality, know yes. personalities, yes. comfort zones, yes. lifestyle, yes. and like these and are skills. That <laughs> sorry, go ahead. We we're just really excited about this yeah. topic, but you learn life skills that no book, no peer, nothing can teach you, but life and experience Agreed. itself, Agreed. which is why you need to put yourself in uncomfortable situations. Yeah. And I still resist it sometimes because it just gives us a lot of anxiety. We're yeah. just scared. We don't know yeah. how. But you know what? Learn to embrace failure because I have failed so many times. Same. I do if not If I showed think... you my transcript, woo! If I showed you my college GPA, <laughs> even though people think it's stellar, woo! Okay, exactly, like, exactly. you know. Exactly, And in terms of like, being a girl, like transcripts, this, looks, aesthetics, like everything, like I would not be considered uh, like the ideal poster uh, mark child of uh, beauty yeah. or intelligence. And I think that's why we bonded because yes. we weren't like... We Perfect. Weren't, we, weren't, we weren't these kids who had everything easy. We're the kids who... 
Work Everybody our thought we were off. great, amazing people, mm-hmm. but had to work our ass off to get to the colleges. We and went we still to, failed. To, we still failed. No, still struggled in college. We graduated. We got yeah. our degree. We got good jobs, yeah. but maybe not the jobs that are paying you six figures or you know. Everybody's like, I'm living in the penthouse. No, not I yet. have to work. Not yet. Not One yet. day, exactly. Well, we got to work our way up. So we're. I see we're at ten minutes. We want to keep these short. Um, moral of the story. Embrace, embrace the uncomfortable because the uncomfortable is what's going to get you Mm -hmm. to your dreams. It's what's going to get you to the place that you want to get to. And if you go away from the uncomfortable, you will never achieve your dreams because you'll always be with this mindset of, I don't feel comfortable. I don't want to do it because of that, but I'm, you know, because of that, I don't want to do it. And therefore I'm not going to work my ass off to chase my dreams. If you care enough about your dreams, the uncomfortable won't matter. The uncomfortable will become, become your story and what drives you every single day. So, um, I don't know if you have anything, last thing to add. I just want to go back to saying like everyone that says they know what they wanted to do. Maybe they had a general idea, but that changes. And yes, it's fluid. Um, it is fluid. It's not fixed. And even if they didn't know, they came to know what they wanted to do by trying new things. Yeah. You don't know what your palate is going to taste like. Do you like Italian, Indian, African? You don't know till you try. And life is similar to that. Try it try in out. a safe way. Try, try it. Out. Try it small. Try bits. it. Try and if you it. don't like it, right. You, you do, know you then do, that that right? was not for you. Exactly. But that'll leave you from the mistake of living your life in an unhappy manner in that and, set field. And it will leave you away from the mindset of, you know, you'd rather try it and not like it and know that right. than not try it and be thinking your whole life, I should have done this and I right. didn't do it. Right? Exactly. So, so all of that, <laughs> again, put yourself in the uncomfortable. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Like, subscribe, all of that down low. I promise the content's going to get even better. Yeah. This is just the first of a millions of videos, hundreds of videos. Open it's to gonna feedback. Be, it's going to be genuine. It's going to be open to feedback. Please comment. Be you know critical. That's totally fine. I'm not like, going to catch Like, comment, people. subscribe, guys. And also follow me at Keeping Up With Priya. There you go. Her channel, Keeping Up With Priya. I will link it below. Um, please stay tuned. And the next talk, I'm already going to tell you, I'll be from New York, is going to be about the power of a dream. And I want you to tune in to hear about the power of a dream. And I'm going to keep these talks because my dream is to give a TED Talk one day. So hopefully this will help us get in that mindset and and inspire millions across the world. Um, So help me help him get on TED Talk. Keep it up with Priya. I'll link it below. (laughs) Love y'all. Bye. Kiki loves me. (laughs) One love, fam. Stay true. (laughs)